Well, joining us now is one of the nation's experts on uh, swine flu. Thank you very much, Dr. Taneja, for joining us. Can I just ask you, how serious is swine flu in India? It's spreading right now, so it's difficult to say at this moment how serious it is. If anybody gets it, uh, is it serious for that person? Is it a very serious illness or is it like ordinary flu? The symptoms are just like that of an ordinary flu. But if you're feeling very sick, I think at that stage one must be tested. Why do if, people die of swine flu? Uh, usually there are uh, lung complications uh, as the commonest one. Uh, Rarely it can get very aggravated within a period of a day or two, either because of the virus invading the lung tissues or because the virus uh, sensitizes to lungs, sensitizes the lungs to a bacterial attack by bacteria that are lying so in the throat. So you can get a bacterial infection. You can get a bacterial pneumonia, right. secondary this, to a virus. Is this much worse than an ordinary flu or ordinary flu this can happen as well? It can happen in an ordinary flu as well. In fact, uh, most people who are above 60, they are at the highest risk and of course young people. Even from too. ordinary flu or swine or flu? From, yes. They say that the swine flu strain in India is not as virulent as in Mexico and the United States because so many people have died there, 300 people have died. Right. Uh, why is that so? Is that the temperature in India? Is this true or we are more resistant because we have so many diseases? Actually, worldwide, the uh, percentage mortality from swine flu is only 4 out of 1,000. 996 recover. Sometimes even without the actual treatment, because like most flus, you can recover without the specific treatment, treatment also. So, I mean, in and Mexico... In a normal flu, what would be the worldwide mortality be? Normal flu. In a normal flu, approximately the same... Uh, mortality. This is what also. amazes me. Swine flu, four in a thousand. Ordinary flu, four in a thousand die. Yes. But there's so much hype and fright and scare about swine flu. Because it has been declared a pandemic, yes. number one. Secondly, it's a mixture virus. It's a virus that has been mixed in the pig between the bird flu and the human flu uh, and the animal swine flu, basically. And if between I, that mixing vessel, a new right. subtype has come up, which is being transferred from human to human. Okay. If my child has a symptom of flu, how can I be sure whether it's swine flu or ordinary flu, or does it not really matter? You should be treated for similarly in both cases. Uh, the symptoms are absolutely the same. I would just say currently, most influenza-like illnesses are not caused by swine flu in this country right now right it's the common flu which is more prominent in the environment right now there's a small subsection which is swine flu but the swine flu is spreading so how can